She asked not to be identified. Her first name is Melissa. I thought I would be dead. Um, I never thought I'd live to be 22 or 24 years old. Her story begins when she was 17. Living with another runaway, she says a pimp promised them a better life. Um, he started to um, pay our rent, pay our bills, uh, make sure that you know we had food in our house. In exchange, she says he held her against her will and forced her into the sex trade. Within a, a day, my whole life changed. I um, had to um, sleep with people. Um, he would tell me where I had to be, when I had to be there. Human rights advocates tell us that right now there are about 25,000 young women in the United States who have been forced into sex trafficking. Along with the horror stories we hear about women brought here from Latin America, Asia and Europe, advocates tell us that a large percentage of those forced into sex trafficking are actually runaways from right here in the United States. Melissa's story fits the profile. Trying to escape a broken home, she says she was sexually abused at a young age. Pimps prey on women like her. Our girls are at risk. Louis C. DeBaca is the U.S. ambassador at large fighting human trafficking. He says it's time for the U.S. to step up its crackdown on sex trafficking with more aggressive investigations and prosecutions. It's a problem that's happening right here, and it's happening to people's uh, daughters. It's happening to people's uh, nieces, nephews, grandchildren. Um, and it's plaguing every community in the United States. For Melissa, she says she was held captive by intimidation, fear, and physical abuse. I was too scared to do anything, to leave or to go anywhere. Um, I, I had no money, I had nothing, so, I mean, they were all that I had. It's the same story over and over. The pimps almost have a handbook, the traffickers, as to how to catch a girl is the term. And they'll try this on 10 or 20 girls and only maybe get one that'll fall for it. But it's that one that becomes the victim of sex trafficking. Melissa says it was an arrest for a traffic violation that eventually saved her life. The FBI convinced her to testify against her pimp and enter rehab for therapy and drug addiction. She's now married and hopes to start a family, something she once could not have imagined. All it does is take one person to actually really care and have pure motives and give you everything that they were taught.